So it's the end of the work day. It is 4.13 on Friday. The end of my second week back at work. And um, I did pretty good this week. I was a little short on patience um, with some people this week. And it's ironic that my topic this morning was about impatience. Um, but there's a little bit of a difference. The impatience this morning was one that could have caused this person some financial issues. My impatience this week was with those who were being impatient with me. So, it's a little bit of a, just a little bit of a difference. Um, they were impatient with me. because they were trying to meet deadlines that we have to meet every single month. And I was gone for a month, so things were behind. The good thing is that I've done my part as I promised that I would by the time that I promised that I would have it done and now it's on to the next person um, and then and when I get back to work on Monday I have another set of things that I have to get taken care of um, for the month of May and I will have it done Monday Because we're almost in the middle of June and before you know it they'll be asking for the same thing to happen for June uh, so I realized that I have been impatient with people this week not been it's not been good it's not been good it's not been good for me to be impatient with those people because it raised some anxieties in me which kind of threw me for um, kind of threw me for a loop and anxiety not in the sense where I felt like I was losing control and was overwhelmed but anxiety in that I'm losing patience with this process overall overall I hate that dip it happens every time I, I'm losing patience with this process overall that's the way it feels um I read an article today and I didn't finish reading it but I'm going to because I think I want to post about it as well but I read an article today about how managers um, excuse me what is the word um, I can't think of the word right now that was used but it basically is about how managers deflate their employees how managers um, steal the enthusiasm or quash the enthusiasm of their employees. And it gives eight reasons about how, eight, eight ways that managers do this, bosses do this. And I have felt that, I've experienced that in other positions, and I'm beginning to feel it in this position. 
And typically when that happens, the first thing I do is I try to write it out. Um, I try to write it out when I begin to feel that way and accept, accept my responsibility in the situation. And you may ask, well, how was it my responsibility? How do I have any responsibility in this if it's the manager or the boss that is doing the quashing? Well, I have to accept that I don't have to accept that behavior. I have to accept that I don't have to accept the feelings that come along with what the manager is doing. They can only make you feel a certain way about things if you allow them to. So that's the first thing I do is I accept my responsibility in it. And, and then I work out how, how to best deal with it beyond that. Meditation, praying, um, thinking before I speak is always good. And then having the conversation with the higher up about what I have observed um, and how I'm feeling about what I've observed. So, yeah. I'm starting to feel that now so I know that it's coming um, but I have to evaluate it before I make any moves because I have to see I have to figure out where it's coming from if it's again taking my, taking responsibility um, taking my responsibility for my part in this whole thing because it may not be just what they are doing to me or what I think they're doing to me it may also be um, other things that are going on around me that are impacting um, my overall well-being, um, overall how I feel about this certain things, about this job, about these people. So I have to look at that as well. So I'll be doing that this weekend. Again, I'm, I might post a blog about it. Um, I haven't blogged in a while, and I need to. I need to get back into that. Um, I've written down some topics that I want to blog about, so I may just do that. But right now, I am headed to. Well, I just parked at Walmart because I'm going to pick up some things. Um, I've I've gotten. Well, I'm going to. Wal I'm at Walmart, and I may go to Dollar Tree because I did go today and last week and pick up Father's Day gifts for my husband and I haven't bought a card or a bag yet. Um, but I'm at Walmart because I'm going to see if they have this device um, called a TENS unit. Um, and it's supposed to send electric pulses um, to your muscles and stimulate them when it pertains to pain. Um, it's supposed to assist in alleviating the pain and my husband has been having some chronic back pain lately. Well, I shouldn't say lately. He's had some chronic back pain for quite some time now and nothing seems to help aside from muscle relaxers and mu he and muscle relaxers don't work well together um, so um, pain meds help but they don't help 100% and then they cause other issues so I'm going to try this apparently this is supposed to help my supervisor um throughout her back last week and she has this unit and she's had it for a while but she has this unit and it supposedly helps her um, for long long periods of time uh, 
she basically swears by it. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pick it up, see how it works. And then I'm also buying a drill, like a small, just handheld drill, because I've got to get my curtains up. It's driving me nuts. I've got to get my curtains up. And I found one in here the other day for like 20 bucks, and I didn't pick it up, but I'm going to get it today. So, uh, yeah, this poor little couple, they look like they're not sure that this is their car. I don't know if it's a rental, but I would think if you, if it's your car, you would know your plates. Oh, they got in. It's their car. But that was so funny to watch them trying to figure out if this was their car. For like three minutes, they were trying to figure out if it was their car. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I didn't have really a lot to talk about, but I, I wanted to at least add on to my impatience um, conversation from earlier today and how I noticed that I've been impatient with people this week. Um, but yeah. Peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.